Hey guys, and welcome to Procrastination. Today I'm going to show you how I made Disney coasters. So last year I made um, coasters for my dad for Father's Day, and they were themed for the bar that he had made in his basement. He's really funny and big personality. He's got catchphrases. That's what I'm talking about. Everything is beautiful. So I made a set of four coasters for him that were personalized with his catchphrases. So I bought this set of coasters from Amazon, um, pre-made coasters that came in a set of like 12. Um, so uh, I made four for him and I used some as uh, some samples. So I thought that I would make some coasters that are customized to what I like and put these extra coasters to good use. This time I'm going to make some Disney princess themed coasters. I'm going to make a set of four for myself and I'm going to make them with themes from my favorite four classic Disney princesses. So I chose Mulan. Mulan is my number one. Ariel, Belle, and Pocahontas. Let's get started. What you're going to need is a plain coaster, or four, or more if you want to make it a larger set. <laughs> um, I'm going to sand the coasters with sandpaper to make it nice and smooth. You're going to need paint. I have lots of colors next to me. Paintbrushes, my pencil, because I'm going to sketch out my idea on it first. I have a little palette to put my paint on so I don't make a mess. And um, reference pictures. I'm not very good at doing anything off of memory, <laughs> and uh, a lot of artists aren't. So it's better if you have your references up in front of you. I have my laptop open over here and um, I'm going to use those as references. So what I'm going to do first is sand the edges. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but the edges are not actually very nice. They're a little rough um, and I'd prefer them to be a little bit more rounded anyway. So I'm going to sand these. What I'm going to do next is um, get a wet paper towel and clean them up to get rid of all the extra uh, grains of wood that are on the table and clean up a little bit because I don't want them uh, to get into the paint. I'm just um, closing them down with a damp cloth. The next step is um, I'm going to sketch on the coasters, the themes that I want on the front. So, like I said, it's going to be Mulan, Ariel, Belle, and Pocahontas. So what I was thinking um, for each one is I would just take some of the major themes within each Disney princess movie and just sketch them on here. Um, like Mulan, I'll do cherry blossoms and a hair comb. Um, bell, uh, maybe like stained glass, rose, um, Ariel, I can do her shell, and uh, maybe like Ursula's shell, and then do seaweed behind it or something like that, <laughs> and um, Pocahontas, I'll do the, the wind, the wind sleeves. <laughs> so I'm going to start with Mulan since that one's my favorite. <laughs> Now 
made a little smaller. That looks a little bit closer. So um, now I'm going to open up my reference picture for my uh, cherry blossoms. With this one, I'm going to kind of just freehand a little bit more um, just because in the movie, um, it was like faded out in the foreground. So I'm just going to kind of do like some cherry blossoms around it. Maybe do like that one unblossomed one in the corner. So I just kind of like freehanded it. I'm going to do the comb in the center and then um, some random tree blossoms on trees, branches in the side. So one down. Um, for Ariel, I'll do Ursula's Nestle. Thank you. So, we did um, shell bra and then uh, Ursula's necklace in front of it. Um, I think, and I think what I'm going to do for Belle is. Um, the rose under the glass, but it's going to be in stained glass. So if I want something even, I'm just going to draw a line down the center of it, just so I can make sure that um, I can kind of like eye where the center is, so that I can try to be a little symmetrical. This one I can't be as sketchy as the other one, just because uh, it has to be a little bit more precise since I'm doing precise lines. Um, because that's what stained glass is. <laughs> because they're like color blocked, very pretty, swooshy, just kind of like a leaves. I'm going to make them rainbow. So what I'm going to do now is um, take my coasters and I'm going to paint around the edges first because I kind of want to do like a feature color around the edge. So, um, so each princess is going to have their own color, obviously, um, like Belle. Everybody remembers her with her blue dress. Um, Ariel, I'll do uh, like a turquoise or a purple for her bra. Um, Mulan, I'll probably do a pink. And Pocahontas will do a yellow. here so I'm going to clean my brush from the blue and wipe it on a paper towel when you're painting always have a glass of water and a paper towel or a couple I have a couple here um, but I always have paper towels on hand so you never know everything's kind of messy So we've uh, 
uh, given some time to have our coasters dry. So now what I'm going to do is paint the front of it and paint all the little things that we penciled on earlier. So let's go with that. This is going to be very detailed. Um, so I'm going to be using smaller paintbrushes. Um, that could be like super detailed, but it's going to be um, some finer points. And so um, now we get to actually have the fun part and, and do all the little details. So here we go. <laughs> exact it's better if it's organic anyway it always ends up looking better if you just kind of like go with it see if you even just want to use like the brush and just dab it still makes it look like petals just kind of like flatten the brush onto it and it makes it look like it is super easy don't ever think that this stuff is too hard to do. Because a lot of the times, people overthink it. And even if you mess up, it's not a mess up, it's a happy accident. Like Bob Ross says. I love me some Bob Ross. He's the man. You see, I didn't add anything else over here because I want the bud to be a feature because that was a big part of this whole scene, which is why I love it so much. You see, it's still um, wet. Well, doing this, I'll be able to work with the paint a lot better if it's wet and it'll blend. Um, so here I just kind of want to like do it and blend so I, I took my highlight and then I did a little dab of the regular color just so it kind of like blends it in just doing the tip of the edges because the lights coming from this direction so you see I'm just kind of taking some of this and then I'm just dabbing a little bit in the regular pink I'm going to do it in this one because it's very wet still. <laughs> I'm just dumping a lot of paint on here just because of how much the wood has absorbed other paint. Nice. Now, I just realized one thing that I forgot to do is draw all the green parts around the whole thing. So, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the comb first. side and I totally actually forgot to add them. <laughs> so let's add them now. I'm just going to guesstimate according to where the prongs are on the brush.
is going to be very hard. So I actually backtracked and I figured um, I should probably just do the outlines first because they're going to be the same colors within each section. So what I'm going to do is kind of like swirl some pink in here. So from here, I'm not sure what else I want to do. I'll probably just, I think I'll just do snowflakes. Just uh, dipping my brush, my brush in the water, and just kind of making sure all these bubbles are actually circles now. <laughs> I think I put too much paint, so now I'm just kind of like dissolving the paint a little bit to make it look a little bit more iridescent. blend blend so I'm gonna do a lot of blending So for this one, um, it's just going to be a lot of color, I'm thinking. Just a ton of color. Just 
just do some trees, just blend it up there. Okay, so after looking at these designs, I kind of decided that these two are lacking a little bit in comparison to these two. Um, these two just seem more finished because um, they have complete backgrounds. So I'm actually going to go back in and add some things to these two. So what I think I'm gonna do is draw the castle up here and then maybe draw some books down here or something like that. And uh, I think I'm just gonna focus heavily on the silhouette. I think I'm just going to do a lot of watercolor with this. This isn't turning out the way I wanted it to. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go back to the stained glass idea and paint over this. Hopefully I will be able to cover it. <laughs> you know what, I'll just make a bunch of watercolor in the background. And so maybe I'll just do like a uh, stained glass books kind of stacked up. So I just kind of added some 
because I needed to cover up that corner. So um, I just kind of tried to do a watercolor effect to cover it up. Um, and it looks nice, I think, in my opinion. Um, I think, I think it, it's fun. I think it looks nice. It looks watercolory. Um, I think if anything right now, I just want to, oh, missed a spot, missed a spot. Um, I was about to say, if anything right now, I just kind of want to touch up on some black lines, just to make some of them a little stronger again, because in certain spots, um, I painted over them with the white. this a lot better. I'm much happier with how this looks now than the last one. This one's very pretty. So I'm satisfied. We can move on. <laughs> okay, so I'm facing a little bit more of a difficulty with The Little Mermaid. Um, I'm not quite sure how else I'm going to improve this and make it a bit more interesting. So um, I think I'm just going to wing this as well. I'm thinking I'll just do like seaweed at the bottom. But from there, I don't know. <laughs> so let's just start and see where it takes us, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I think I finally figured out what I want to do. I think I'm going to add, um, Ariel's theme, you know, where she's like, ah, I think I'm going to do that in the background. And I think that's going to finish this. Maybe add some coral on the bottom, but, um, you know, I just want to do Ariel justice like I've done for the rest in my opinion, at least. So let's just try our best. <laughs> For the record, I am definitely looking up a reference for this one um, because I do not know music notes. <laughs> I have to be very careful for this one. Now in order to do this so steadily, I'm holding my hand against my painting hand so that I can stay super, super steady. The reason why I'm doing these notes red is because, um, you know, it's Ariel's color. She's, she's a redhead. <laughs> As you can see, we have our finished products. Um, they're looking beautiful. I'm letting this one dry on top of my shot glass. <laughs> um, so what's next is that we are going to coat it. We're gonna seal coat it. So this is a gloss. You don't have to use a gloss, but I'm going to. <laughs> um, and so it's made for a wood, metal, and plastic. So you can use whatever you want. Um, if you wanna do like a um, satin coat, you can or if you want to spray it with something else then that's fine just make sure that it is meant to seal and protect it and that it's meant for wood um so this is going to actually take 24 hours to completely dry and we're going to want to spray both the tops with the top and the bottom of this Oops, see that just showed i have to paint over that um we're gonna want to spray both the top and the bottom. So 
This is our next step and we're gonna do this outside where it's ventilated because you're really not supposed to spray this inside the house. After I spray painted my coasters, the only thing left to do was to put on little foam feet that actually came with the coaster set that I bought from Amazon. So it has like a little punch out that you can put on. The other side is adhesive, so I just stuck them on there. Really easy. We've made some beautiful coasters that I'm super, super proud of. If this has inspired you to make your own coasters, then please feel free to send me a picture or a link to your own YouTube video. I would love to see them. And if you guys liked what you saw, please like and subscribe down below. <laughs> if you have any questions, um, if something wasn't clear about a certain step during this entire process, then feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to reply and give you a good answer. All right, guys, and with that, that's the end of this project. I had a super fun time, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! <laughs>